Welcome to this tutorial for the image motion blur software Bleaks for Mac OS X. You can import an image by just dragging it into the window. You zoom around by using command plus or command minus, but mostly you would use the scroll function of your mouse or your mouse pad. Command zero is very important, it brings you back to the overview of the whole image. Okay, let's add some curves to the image. Uh, I will add the first curve um, to the middle of the road and I finalize with pressing enter or space. By placing the curve above this distinct line on the road, I make the motion blur follow the road, which results in a good looking motion blur. I'm adding another one on the right side, also above this distinct line. I'm gonna add another one on the left side, on the edge of that wall. Again pressing enter or space. Alright, now I've got the um, direction set up, initialized, and now I have to adjust the velocity values on the control points of these curves. And I'm switching to the velocity tool on the left. And by going with the mouse, mouse cursor over a control point, and just typing in the velocity I want to have on that specific control point, I can change the velocity on that point. And I'm taking 10% on the start, 15% in the middle, and I keep the default 50% at the end. Let's see how it looks in the preview. That's a good start. These four buttons on the right side uh, can be used to switch between the four views we have in Bleaks 1, 2, 3, 4. And this can be done faster with the shortcut command 1, 2, 3, 4, which is really handy. This way you can um, tell Bleaks if you want to see the original image or the blurred one and if you want to see the curves or not. So now I don't want to have the background being blurred, that's why I'm adding two lines there. And I'm gonna set the velocity of those lines to zero by switching to the velocity tool with pressing by pressing V and typing in velocity zero. And by holding down Alt, I change the velocity of start and end point of that line. Okay, now the background is not blurred anymore. Um, now I want to control the um, motion blur on the road a little bit more in detail, and that's why I'm adding some more curves in between. This is always a good idea to model the velocity field with more control. This way I'm telling Bleaks in more detail how I want the velocity field to be modeled. Which is always good if you want to have a nice looking effect. Adding some curves on the right side also to follow those um, those lines there on the wall. Okay, now I have to uh, adjust the velocity values on those control points. Again, 10 and 15%. Uh, each control point uh, has a relative velocity ranging from 0 to 100%. And um, you can set the velocity uh, on every control point individually. Okay, let's take a look at the preview again. Now let's take a look at the final rendering. The rendering takes the original image and the preview uh, processing just scales the image internally down to speed up things. So, uh, yeah, well, that looks cool. But um, the speed impression is a little bit um, weak in my eyes. So I'm gonna increase the global velocity 
using that speedometer on the left side just by dragging on it setting it to 75% checking the rendering again the speed impression is a little bit stronger now the whole motion impression is better now and this looks good